The occasion is a photo shoot of Nelson Mandela's first post apartheid cabinet. A typical wit is how Mangosu Tupteleze remembers his friend and adversary. My fondest memory of my diva is that we often joke here. You know, my diva often said to me, You are far younger than me. And I would say, No, actually, President, you are wrong. We're the same age minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> the relationship between these two political leaders goes back many decades. Both are a product of the University of Fort Hay. Many of their contemporaries from the iconic institution would go on to become leaders of their countries. But it was the emergence of a politicized youth movement they bonded. In 1975, Butelezi formed the Ingata Freedom Party, this with the blessing of the African National Congress, only for the relationship to later deteriorate over political differences. By all intents and purposes, this did not affect the personal relationship between Butelezi and Mandela. Some believe this was due to Butelezi consistently declining homeland independence and political deals until Mandela was released from prison and the unbanning of the ANC. The political conflict between the two parties, which went on through the 1980s up to Mandela's release and democratic elections, resulted in over 20,000 people dying. At the heat of the conflict, the two leaders met to bring an end to the bloodshed, promising to work together to promote national reconciliation. We are committed to follow any course which can bring about peace, uh, generally in the country and in KwaZulu Natal in particular. After winning the country's first democratic elections of April 1994, Mandela formed a cabinet that included a number of opposition party members, among them Butelezi to lead the Home Affairs portfolio. Well, I don't know whether you have heard of this African custom. I call Sanger to give him a hiding, <laughs> according to our tradition, because uh, he is my younger brother. <laughs> but of course I had a difficulty, because uh, he is at the same time an important traditional leader. He is my chief, and therefore my leader and my senior uh, in that regard. While the two leaders may have had mutual respect, politically they were apart. We should remember, for instance, that uh, the president at the opening of parliament actually said that he was going to take action against dangerous weapons, which in some in, in, is read by some people to mean including cultural weapons, which cultural accoutrements of the Zulus. That doesn't occur well even for Mbizo. Because I, I cannot imagine that Zulus can go to an Mbizo without their cultural accoutrements. Deputy ministers. Whatever the differences, Mandela showed trust in Butelezi, appointing him acting president. In fact, Butelezi was the only opposition leader Mandela left to run the country. And this he did a whopping 22 times. The relationship between Nelson Holithatla Mandela and Mangosu to Butelezi embodied a generation that held mutual respect in high regard, no matter one's political persuasion. As one of the last remaining elders from the first democratic parliament, Butelezi never misses an opportunity to remind South Africans of Mandela's teachings. Nelson Mandela said, and I quote him, It is easy to break down and destroy. The heroes are those who make peace and build, unquote.